Hello, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be over this little beauty right here. And this is the new Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so spoiler alert, I love this foundation. And a lot of you all probably already know why. It's got a serum attached to it and it's full coverage. And it doesn't make me look like I just have on a truckload of foundation on my face. And did a really good job of covering up all of my problem areas. So during this video, I'm gonna talk about this baby. I'm going to show you an application. I'm going to have some side-by-side -side pictures of what the foundation looks like in natural light without a flash as well as with a flash. And I'm also going to just show you a comparison of some other foundations swatched alongside of this foundation. I've seen that done in other videos and when I read the comments it looks like that's helpful to others I so saw I thought I would try it in my video I will have timestamps below just in case you don't want to hear my little blurb that I always do in all of my foundation reviews I have timestamps below so you can um, definitely skip to the part that you're interested in but as you can see this comes in a glass bottle it's really pretty um, it does have a bit of an odd shape I think it's cute. It's something unique. Um, I think it looks cute uh, up alongside of my other foundation bottles. This top is really, uh, it's hard to get off because, um, you know, just let me, okay, there it was. Okay, and then when I have you on film, it's going to pop off really easily. But anyway, it does have a pump and I do have it in the shade Toffee. Normally under the Clinique foundations, I typically get golden. This particular foundation does have 42 shades. I believe if I am wrong, I will put it along the screen and it's full coverage. It's a serum, it's got hyaluronic acid in it. It's got vitamin C and salicylic acid. And as you all know that if you have mature skin like myself, I'm 49 years old, I'll be 50 in September. If you got mature skin, you want to put on products that have all of those skin loving ingredients. And salicylic acid is gonna help you if you have you know, problems with, let's say acne. Um, it's also going to help even your skin tone over time. The vitamin C is going to help brighten your skin and the hyaluronic acid is just going to help with hydration and moisture. So that's a good combination to have. I did look at the ingredients and it does have a lot of other ingredients that it didn't have um, as the main focus. So that was pretty impressive to me. Now I do need to let you all know that in the ingredients, you will see the word alcohol denate, which stands for denature, and they just abbreviate it as such. Now that is a drying ingredient. So if you have dry skin, it would be a really good idea to start off with a really heavy moisturizer and even probably a, um, a radiant or dewy setting spray. Some people will absolutely not use a foundation if it has that ingredient and I just wanted to give you all a heads up. So this foundation does claim to have a radiant finish and by all means, yes, you are going to get a radiant finish if you do not set it. But if you do set it with a powder, you will no longer have that radiant look. I have it on now. I did use a little bit of powder and I just don't feel that I have like a radiant look. Um, you know, you all can tell me what you think. So just be mindful of that. Now, if you have really dry skin, you definitely do not have to set this foundation. Now, as far as it being full coverage, I think that this is hands down a full coverage foundation. I think that this is hands down a full coverage serum foundation. I have reviewed several serum foundations in the past and I've never been able to get coverage like this because I have, you know, hyperpigmentation along here, around my forehead, and I have a black scar right here. Well, it didn't really cover up that black scar, but everywhere else just with 
with one layer, I was able to get really good coverage. So I'm just really excited about this foundation and continuing to use it more and test it out. But what I like about this particular um, release is that they took the liberty of, you know, adding in more undertones. But this particular shade is in toffee and it has a warm neutral undertone. And for me, uh, being a woman of color, my hat goes off to them trying to get the undertones correctly. Now, when you see my application, you'll notice that, you know, um, the foundation is going to look really light around the perimeter of my face. Um, but you can clearly see, uh, you know, how my face looks in comparison to my body. But I feel as though this particular foundation really got the undertone correct. For me and I can really appreciate it and just know that if you are my shade or if you're deeper or several tones deeper don't be fooled by the um, the shade ranges because I did see it and I can kind of see where it kind of looks like you know they only have a few shades for deeper skin tones but trust me there are shades deeper than I am out there so anyway with all of that said I'm going to have timestamps below. I'm gonna go in and get to the application. Remember, I will have some comparison swatches. So, so, so. So this is the foundation right here. It comes in a really cute bottle. This is glass and this is plastic. I kind of have this already popped off because it is, the top is hard to get off. And it seems as though there's a bit of a sweet spot to where it just kind of pops off. But most other times this top is really hard to get off. This is the foundation up close. You do get a pump and the name toffee not sure if you can see that but it's listed right below and you get the ingredients again on the back so on this side i'm going to use the brush and this side i'm going to use a sponge here is the shade as you can see uh, it matches my hand pretty good and as you all can see the outer perimeter along with right up in here is a little bit deeper than the rest of my body so for this particular shade I am going to try and match my body so let's go ahead and start off with this side so I'm going to use the brush on this side and I don't smell anything so it doesn't appear to have a scent All right, so it looks like the coverage is pretty good with just one layer. Of course, you can still see that scar that I have peeping through right there, but outside of everything else, it looks like that it's covered it pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side with the sponge. Okay, so I got this all applied and I honestly feel as though I don't need another layer. And as far as the shade goes, I feel as though the shade matches 
from what I can see in the viewfinder, it looks like it matches okay. I won't be able to tell if this is gonna oxidize until after I've had it on for probably a few more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight under my eyes and I'm gonna use this self-setting Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is it right here. So I'm gonna use this to highlight. All right, so I have all of the concealer applied and I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this By Terry Hydro Powder and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I did add a little bit of bronzer, as you can see, as well as some lipstick. So anyway, I'll be back at the check-in. All right, so I've got the face completed and I just wanted to say that I feel as though both applications, this side with the brush as well as this side with the sponge, I feel as though the application is the same. I don't feel like one applied better than the other and I really do like the coverage. I've never used a serum foundation that had coverage this good. I mean, even with just one layer, it's so smooth and pretty. I mean, it really does look good on the skin so I'm gonna go ahead about my day and I will do check-ins for you all so see ya check-in all right so I'm back with my one and only check-in I've had this foundation on for six hours I did go to the store for a short amount of time maybe an hour and I went to pick up my son from school and now I'm back at the house let me just show you the mask that I wore just so you can see what the transfer looks like I did not use a mattifying setting spray or anything like that and of course this uh, foundation doesn't boast to be transfer resistant or anything like that but let me just show it to you This is what it looks like. And overall, I am totally pleased with this foundation. I do feel as though it has settled um, into the small lines that I have right here. But I mean, I have natural lines right there and it's, um, I, it's almost no escaping that part right there. I'm gonna move in closer so you can actually see how that looks for yourself. There was some wear right up in here from the mask on the tip of my nose and of course right here. I did take off my lipstick before I wore the mask because I knew I was gonna do the check-in and I didn't want lipstick everywhere. If you look at the forehead, that still looks smooth and pretty. You know, I still feel as though if you have mature skin, this would be a awesome, foundation for you if you're looking for a full coverage serum foundation let me just move in closer and honestly for the amount of time and considering i had on a mask and everything i think that this foundation held up really well i mean look at my forehead i mean i think that overall i think it looks really nice it feels comfortable on the skin you know how some foundations can just make you feel like oh i can't wait to get this mess off of my face you don't get that feeling at all and you know this is the type of foundation that i would feel comfortable wearing every day to work you know i've talked about that a lot of times you know if you're going to pick a foundation that you're going to wear every day to work day in day out they pick something that's got some skin loving ingredients in it um, this looks good. I can't wait to hear what you all think down in the comments. I would recommend this. Um, the only drawback again is the alcohol donate that it has in it. I know that's a deal breaker for some, but outside of that, if you can deal with it, you might want to check this one out. 
So that pretty much concludes my foundation review. Let me know down in the comments if you plan on picking this up. If you don't plan on it, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.